the middle is the Java programming. We'll cover special characters, standard input and output, uh, variables and literals, operators, identifiers, reserved keywords, and primitive data types, and more. Let's get started. First, let's talk about special characters in Java. The double slash is used for a single line comment. Parentheses are used to contain parameters in the method declarations and calls. Find the beginning and end of a block of code, such as methods or loops or classes. Double quotes are used to define string literals. Semicolons is used to terminate a statement. In Java, the console window that starts a Java application is typically known as the standard output device. The keyboard, the keyboard is the standard input device. Java sends information to the standard output device using the system class from the standard Java library, which is accessed via Java application programming interface API or Java API, commonly referred to as Java API. So from this line of code, System dot out dot print line uh, sum of x plus y equals plus z. This uses the system class to send a message to the output device. The system class contains methods and objects that perform system level tasks. The out object is a member of the system class, and it contains methods like print, print line, and print f that send characters to the output device. Print outputs text to the console without a new line at the end. Print line or print ln outputs text to the console with a new line character at the end. Print f outputs formatted text to the console.
note the percent symbol lets it know where to refer to outside and certain characters afterward lets it know um, the type so how d for digits um, f for float and the point one means to allow it to float one decimal point after um, and there are many others you feel free to look these up java also supports escape characters escape sequences excuse me which are used to represent special characters backslash n for new line backslash t for tab backslash b for backspace backslash r for carriage return backslash backslash so you can insert a backslash backslash single quote so you can have a single quote backslash double quote so you can have a double quote even though escape characters are comprised of two characters the compiler treats them as a single character they help create complex text outputs Uh, next, let's discuss variables and literals. A variable is a name, store, location in computer's memory. And literal is a value written directly into the code of a program. Programmers determine the number and types of variables a program will need. Variable declarations, though, may take the following form. You have your data type and your variable name. Data type, variable name. Data type, variable name. Data type, variable name. Java has several in integer data types. They are byte, short, and long. These data types cannot hold numbers that have a decimal point. Here are some examples. Byte age equals 30. Short year equals 2024. Int salary equals 50,000. Long distance uh, equals one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll put an L at the end to let you know it's long. Data types that allow fractional values are called floating point numbers. In Java, there are two data types for floating point numbers. Float, which is a single precision, meaning allowed seven decimal points, and a double, which is double precision, allowing 15 decimal points. Java is strongly strongly typed language. So a double value is not compatible with a float value due to its size and precision. Same with the integers, data types as well. You can not go narrow, but you can go wider. Uh, for example, I create float number. I will now try to set number, assign number, the value 2.3, 
which is technically a double. Let's see what happens when I try to print number. Error! Incompatible types. Possible Lucy conversion from double to float. Can't make a double go to a float. It's too big. The correct way to do this would be to let it know I want this to be a float. To do that, like how long we put a capital L at the end, we put a capital F for float. Let's try it now. Remember, literals cannot contain embedded currency symbols or commas. So if we were to do double gross pay, set it equal to this, this would be fine. This would cause an error. And this would also cause an error. Floating point literals can be represented in scientific notation. For example, double number, set number equal to 4.72819. For scientific notation. You've probably seen this in a calculator before. But that E represents 10 to the power of, in this case, 4. Notice that it will print it out as 47281.97 or 47,281 and 97 hundredths, which is the same value. The Boolean data type in Java can hold two possible values, true or false. The value of a Boolean variable may only be copied into another Boolean variable. We can only go to Boolean. The char data type provides access to single characters, which are enclosed in a single quote. Do not, do not, do not, don't 
confuse char literals with string literals. Char literals are enclosed in single quotes, while string literals are enclosed in double quotes. Internally, characters are actually stored as numbers using the Unicode character set, which can consist up to 65,536 individual characters. Check your powers of two. You'll see where that number comes from. and not confuse char with string. Java has five arithmetic operators. Plus sign for addition, minus sign for subtraction, uh, asterisk for multiplication, uh, div uh, slash for division, and percent sign for modulus. These operators are called binary operators because they require two operands. Be mindful that it's exactly what you expect. Dividing by zero will cause an error. In integer division truncates any decimal remainder. Arithmetic operations are carried out in a set order. Modulus is the remainder of a division problem. Arithmetic operations are carried out in a set order. Urinary negation, so make something negative, then multiplication, division, and modulus from left to right, and then finally addition, subtraction. Parentheses can be used to change this order of operations. Yes, it follows order of operations. Java also has uh, combined assignment operators that allow you to perform an arithmetic operation and assign it with a single operator. These are plus equals, minus equals, times equals, divide equals, and modulus equal. These operators are short and simple equations. For example, Int count equals 10. We'll do system.out.print line count. And then we'll do count plus equals 5 and see what count is that. See? Oh, there's the first 10.
anorexicos. Sequence. Remember, modulus is the remainder from a division problem. Constants are declared using the keyword final. By convention, constants are written in all uppercase letters with words separated by underscores. For instance, if one were to create the variable pi, even though it already exists in Java with math.py, we would do final first, then give the data type, final to let it know it's a constant, give the data type, in this case double, give the variable name pi. Now, Java has no primitive data type for a series of characters, but we've already seen what that is. So, a string. Instead, the string class comes from the standard library, and that's what's used. Here's how to declare a string variable. String message equals Strings in Java are immutable, meaning that they cannot be changed once they're created. The string class contains many methods to manipulate string objects, such as length, uh, to get the number of characters in a string. The scope refers to the part of the program that has access to a variable's contents. The variables declared inside of the method, like the main method, are called local variables. The scope of a local variable begins at its declaration and ends at the end of the method in which it's declared. So all of these variables created within main would only be available inside of the main. Anything that was created outside of that would be available uh, to See, before this, it will be available to anything within that class. We'll see more of this later. Java provides three ways to comment code. We saw single line comments with the double slash. There are multi-line comments. And then there are Java doc comments.
Java documents can be used to generate HTML, HTML documentation using the Java doc tool and the command line. To summarize, we've covered special characters and their uses in Java, the system class and its methods for output, Java escape sequences for complex text formatting, variables, literals, and data types, primitive data types, arithmetic operators and combined assignment operators, constants with the keyword final, the string class and string manipulation, variable scope, and commenting code in Java. Understanding these fundamentals is essential for becoming proficient in Java programming. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Bon appétit.